see if he's gonna come out. Oh, okay. Blown up my shield, are ya? Oh, he's fleeing! Flee to battle! Hello, buddies. Welcome. Welcome back. Let me see. Oh, there we go. Welcome back to uh, Battle Brothers, or Battle Buddies, as I like to call them. So, last time, we uh, we actually got a lot of progress done. I hope that uh, we can do that as well today. So, uh, I just wanted to see names. I do have a couple of names ready. So, if you want to redeem a name, you simply mouse over the stream and you'll find the beautiful golden cookie right here. And uh, you can hit that and click redeem and uh, it only costs 25 golden cookies, which is equal to 25 minutes of watching, unless you find a golden chest, of course. And uh, then you can redeem a name and get it in the game. Ah, it rhymes. And I think I do have... I wish I could put this in window mode. Options... Borderless? It is in borderless. It is. Right. Because I wanted to say... Uh, thank you to Manuka for following. And thank you to Smongil for following. That should pop up as well. There we go. Rank 11 Pally. I think he's still alive. Let's see who's alive. Holt the Ranger. Flail the Thunder Harmless. Katu the Sigarius. Geistin the Revived. Shadewolf the Cart Destroyer. Reinhold the Cowardly. Dwarf Furious the Fourth. Absurdum the Boyer. Tosti the Pilgrim, which I think is not named from you guys, so someone can name the Banner Bearer. And yes, that is the Nighty Bud Banner. The <laughs> Nighty Buddyhood Banner. <laughs> that was hard to say. Rogalas the Adornable. Hugo the Jumping Halfling. And Geistin the Jester. Geistin, he should have been dead, but he apparently didn't want to. You see three options, what to do? I don't know. There's a lot of things you can redeem in uh, in the game or in 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 there. So just check it out and see uh, see what it does. All right, we finished this mission and we were about to get paid. Show me the dough, the golden cookies, the GC, golden crowns. Doesn't doesn't matter. Any currency will do. Golden bananas. As long as it's golden. Ulrich the Burgermeister leans back in his chair, folding his hands over his lap. Cell swords don't sit right with many folks. I suppose on the account of y'all killing and destroying whole villages on a short changed whim. But I'll admit you've done good. D of course. He nods to a corner of the room where a wooden chest lays unopened. It's all there but I won't be offended if you need to count it. 770 crowns, beautiful. Oh, pick a, pick a card, scratches and redeem golden cookies, yes. So pick a card and scratches is basically small mini games you can play for extra cookies or lose your cookies. And uh, the redeem is, well, all the things you can redeem in my golden cookies store. Go ahead and take a look. All right, let me just sort this. So we do have a pike now. I want to get that pike on someone because uh, the jumping halfling was going to be a dagger wielder. We could put it on Dwarf Furious the Fourth, just because it's pretty dang awesome. Gonna miss his falcon hits, but that is gonna be better. Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right. Carry on with... Yeah, we sold a lot of stuff to these guys. Let's grab the cloth. Maybe we can sell that somewhere. We need some tools, but these are very expensive. So let's carry on. 
And we'll go to... Yeah, we'll go to Lassenfeste. Lassenfeste. Let's see if we can't find another contract. That is a noble one, though, so... Yeah, they are still locked. Training hall. So this will increase... 40% experience gain. I've never used this, and it's very expensive. Let's look at the armor here. 210. <laughs> 90. Alright. What is new reward? A new uh, reward of some kind that you can buy with uh, golden cookies. So if you have any idea to what could be fun to be able to redeem in the store. A male Horbrick, 1500. Nah, I think we're good at this moment. I mean, it's it's not the best of armor, but it'll it'll do. Could sell some shields. Don't need this many. That one. I'm gonna keep the falcons. We do have two. Let's sell that one. The knife. And that one. We're not going to use a short bow. Ooh, throwing. Ooh, throwing axes. That should be able to do some some damage. 41. Maybe with the quick pockets. Can you wield this and a shield? Oh, cool. Okay, so once... Once he get quick hands, he can actually have ranged weapons and then a shield, and then switch out with the two-hander. That is pretty awesome. So we're, that's gonna be good. Okay, new reward. Have you talked Danish for one minute? <laughs> that's a good reward. That's a good reward. Could be a bit confusing for some people. Oh, look at that shield. 32. Melee defense plus 20. Does cost a lot of fatigue, but wow, it's pretty awesome. Let's save our dough and see. <gasps> 10k? What? For you, for us, for the guys not understanding in Danish, but could be fun as well. Wolfram, Hedge Knight. Oh my gosh, I want him. I think that's a tier 2 spear. Squire. Cool. Okay, okay. Do we have a barber? No, barber. No, barber. Weapons shop. There's a great sword. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. You're the one that I want. The one that I want. Ah. Long X. Range of two tiles. 70 to 95. Whoa, long axes are cool. A fighting axe. Okay. But I mean, we're not quite there yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> That's a good reward. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll implement that. Well done. We need to catch the eye of one of the noble houses for more profitable work. They play their own dangerous game, but what does it matter as long as they, as they pay good? Um, as the pay is good. The, uh, how do I do that, though? Let's set aside skirmishes for now and seek to defeat a group of at least a dozen Opponents. That is how our name will be known throughout the land. Alright. I like this. Discover the unknown. Let's go discover the unknown. So what does that mean? Discover a ruin or a hostile camp and destroy it. I think we can do that. 
Let's go check for ruin. I mean, we do have this. That's the ruin. That would count. Count Vlad. <laughs> Hopefully. Ruins of Black Watch Keep. Reminds me of Game of Thrones. I don't know why. All right, let's um, let's try. Hopefully, not too big. Oh, jeebs! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, okay. It just looked insane. There can be more behind. Let's just wait. Hi. Hey, you. 56 to hit, and he has armor on. Let's just wait and see who else shows up. A flailing dude, a pike dude, a dagger dude. We can kill the dagger dude. I think we're gonna spear wall it up and see if we can't keep them, keep them away for maybe a turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. He's gonna jump in there, just in case someone pops by here. It says hello. So I hope everyone is well tonight. And ready for some action because we're gonna we're gonna get it in this one that is for sure funny how some of them just I mean he drew the shortest of the shortest straw here that guy as well in a burlap sack can't hit though why oh that's because it's blocked let's shoot this guy okay or that guy Fine, whatever. Perfect. Then that. And we do have the swap here, so we can swap things around a bit. If needed. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick to... Stick! Ah! With the spear. To this area. And then try and shoot him. Sweet! Right in the face. I think. And he already did it. And he already did it. Cool. Alright, let's see. Wait. 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 Oh. That is... Very presumptuous of him. Ow! You should have gotten a better helmet for him. 43. Shoot. Shoot him. Oh, he's nearly dead. Nearly dead. Yeah, they just wait. No, he's moving in. Cool. Good. Didn't do much, but still. Can we shoot him? 45. Not that good. But, I mean, it's... I think we're just going to do that. Oh, right! That was awesome. It It is a bit strange. It's, it's very different from what else you've seen of games the developers told me that they did have the first concept everyone had arms and legs but they just felt something was a bit off about it so they went with this design instead and I actually I actually like, like it a lot it's uh, it's very uh, very special I like special Okay, so now the thing is he can only hit this way and that way, so he can't actually hit anyone. Um, but now they can move in here, here, but I could move him up there and do it again. So Kartu is 
a bit in, in the way here. And we could move in here and stab this guy. Yeah, it's working. I mean, we're, we're just making them fail their tests here. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna move him down. Yeah, we're gonna move him down. Stab here. Hopefully, Geisten can take him out. That would be pretty, pretty dang awesome. I don't want to move him in too far. Let's instead move him up here. Like there. And now... Ooh, he's fleeing. Missed, but he's fleeing. Uh, only one winning card in pick a card. I think so, yeah. I think so. Oh, he doesn't get to poke anyone this turn. Yeah, I think we're gonna move him. No, there. I want him to move forward. Uh, there, so he could actually move there. And wait. It's gonna end his turn, but it's okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, come on. Geisten. It's... It's okay if he dies, because Geisten the Jester is just... He's just a fun thing in uh, in this playthrough. Oh my lord, okay. He is doing well. You get one golden cookie per minute of watching the stream. And you can catch these chests if, you, uh, if you're lucky. They show up. Oh! <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. And they will give about 15, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh my lord! That was pretty dang good. Now he could try and retreat. No, it's fine. It's fine. Ow! It hurt though. So he could move up there and do a head blow. Oh, right in the face. Oh, we can hit him. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, yeah. You don't like that. I, I don't think I would like that either, though. Oh. Guys, then died. That was his end. That was as far as he would go. Pity. But, that is, that is okay. We have Dwarf Furious, the dwarf, ready to take over another ranged character. All right, he does need some help uh, down here, Reinhold. I think we can, yeah. Hill home! Thank you very much for that host, buddy. Beautiful. That is so awesome. Uh, exposure is always good. I, I won't complain. That's for sure. 25, 28. You're just standing there. If I hit him in the face. Or the shield. Face would have been good. Okay, so... Shade Wolf. Punish this guy. Beautiful. That could hurt. Alright, take him down because he hurts really bad. And then we'll go for him. And here... I think if he runs... I mean, he could run there. That might make him flee. Yes! Indeed. Chopped down. And stabbed. And then he can move down. Beautiful. Oh, Geisten. You are so good. <laughs> yeah. These guys are starting to hurt quite a bit. Ah. Come on. There. 
shot to the face. And you. And... Oh, he doesn't have enough. Okay. It's okay. Hey, Grey Ninja! Things are going uh, quite okay. Um, Geistin the Jester d just died, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah. We're, we're, get, we're gonna... I think we're gonna do this, though. Should be okay. Reinhold is a bit hurt. Hopefully we can we can save him. Um, can't really shoot from there. Let's go. All right, Stabby McMuffin and shield up. Hey Ragnarokers, welcome welcome to the stream, buddy. Welcome. Um, there. Twat. All right, <laughs> Hillholm is a bit sick. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, love that sound. So beautiful. I know it sounds horrible to say, but I mean, it's it's a game. It's a game. It's just a game. Let's just go down and make this guy scared. Scared in his pants. There we go. Stabby. Right in the hand. We still have him. Forgot about him. He's nothing. There, and he can. Oh, he's fleeing. Okay. Be okay. Just shoot him dead then. <laughs> Chop. Character name. Cool. Thank you very much, Sapdog Cake. I'll uh, I'll see if we can't get him in there because we do have Tosty. The pilgrim. So, uh, so let's 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 name him. You can have him, the banner bearer. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep Reinhold back here. He has done well. Good job. Hopefully, no permanent injuries. Hugo the stabby and another stabby. Move a bit. Oh, yes. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he didn't survive this time. Geisten. Poor, poor Geisten. Hey, Handy, welcome to the stream, buddy. So good to see you. Let's see the loot. Oh, Absurdum leveled up. Beautiful. Oh, nice furs. Some, some uh, mushrooms. You know what we can do with those? We can get high! And 229 got crowns and a bit of tools and some weaponry. That was totally worth it. Totally worth it. To lose Geist over. So we have Dwarf Fury as the dwarf. And let's find there. Tosti. I'm certain there's no one that mentioned they named this guy. And I don't think I've put in the Pilgrim. If I'm renaming someone, please let me know. Because I don't want to insult anyone. But I'm fairly certain that is a uh, random name. So let's get Crunch. Hard Run. In. From uh, Sapdog Cake. He is a very buff guy. I mean, he's carrying the banner. That takes a lot of, a lot of doing. Absurdum, get some extra ranged and fatigue and initiative. We did get another flail as well. Beautiful. Guys didn't get, get hurt, just a tiny bit. It's fine. A nasal helmet. He does have better. This one is 95. Better fatigue drain. Or, well, less fatigue. Is the proper wording, I think. Okay, so he has fast adaptation and bullseye. What else can he get? Backstabber. Don't think that's gonna work. Anticipation. 
Shield Expert, Brawny, uh, Rotation, Rally, or Taunt. There must be something else for the range character that we can use. I mean, we could go for Crippling Strikes. Injuries, and then if he's nearby, the Executioner is going to hurt like a mo Bo. Bo Bo. Alright. Cool. So didn't I do that one? No? Maybe not? I think I did. I mean, that... No, maybe... A, maybe I need to discover it after. All right, we have one there as well. No, there we go. <laughs> All aboard the Cripple Hype Train. Get hyped off the crippled. We're gonna hire a cripple and get hyped. No, no, I'm not. It sounded like a good idea at the time, but tramping around the wilderness without a map or any destination in mind turned out to be quite strenuous. A strenuous way to find riches or even a battle. Your foot sore band did eventually come upon a worthy target though, and everyone had to agree the venture was worthwhile after all, indeed. Crunch Hard Run is almost glowing with satisfaction as he surveys the few remaining embers of the ruins of Blackwatch Keep. Really cool they get that in there. They hadn't the merest clue we were coming, like wheat before our scythes, brother. Brothers, buddies. Geist in the Revived raises an eyebrow. Speak for yourself, I'm no farmer. Oh, Dwarf Fury has got content. <laughs> Funny. Beautiful. Well done, guys. Well done. That was fast with the second one. Third one. It must be the third one. Yeah, 12, Banner, and this one. Like we didn't we did that in under a day. Armor Tavern Marketplace. Let's check out the marketplace. 161, it's a bit a bit low. A bit low. A morning star that is amazing. Okay, we're gonna sell the Jester's hat. No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I can't can't sell it. It's beautiful. You're beautiful. A falcon. Oh, falcon can be released in battle to discover hidden prey. Okay. Not a falcon. A falcon. <laughs> a basic male shirt. That's 115 for 500. I'm gonna grab that. 228 for tools. That's actually dirt cheap. Let's get rid of the axes and the pickaxes, short sword. We need someone with a maze. Oh, someone. I do love the spears, but it's actually fine because we want to gather more um, blunt weapons during this because then we would be able to handle undeads if we come upon them or need to switch through them, or don't know they're there. Oh, we got a padded leather, leather as well. Um, that's 80. That's 70. 50... minus 4, 55. That's actually good for a rugged surcoat. Too furious, can get that on. Get it on. Yeah, and he has a short bow. Okay. I think that is good. People laughing. Well, Furious is basically, that's a good fire, that's what that is. <laughs> Indeed. Ah. Leave? Um, okay, this is totally hidden. Wait, did... 
Did the map used to be this big? I did not think so. All right, we're going to leave that. Maybe we will need it later on. Um, if we want to gain some more experience, I think we're going to go to Cochrane's Dorf. See if we can't find a contract. Maybe, maybe we need to go to this area again. Yeah, we could do that. We are on day 16. Oh, what is that? Brigands. Let's kill the brigands. Hey, brigands. You're dead. Day 16. Going on 17. Engage! We are hunting the evil that is the Chopmeisters. The three choppers. Alright. Alright. Alright, buddies. Oh, he can actually get the high ground. Let's move him down. Oh, yeah, of course. Let's move him down because he goes... No, he goes after. Dang it. But then we can surround him. Oh, he looks almost like a... Mongrel. Not a mongrel like that, but, um, you know. The guys from Mongolia. Mongolia. Like Genghis. Genghis Khan. Could grab the high ground there as well. Just go all out. Danger. Let's do it. They will get a couple of hits off on us. Wild exploration adventure. Indeed. I mean, that, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Let's head there, and we can set up the spear wall there. Oh, he jumped into the grass. Look at this, we get the first hit. Almost took down his entire armor. That, that banner is pretty dangerous. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Starting to fall apart. All right, and we need... He can go down there. There we go. I could actually swap places with him. Because he went before him. And he has a shield. So he's more likely to actually survive in, in this. Shield up. Let's go up there. That way. Can we catch him? Oh, sweet! You got arrowed! Well, Furious need need a bit of high ground. I mean, he's he's a dwarf after all. See if you can hit. No. Good job. Nope. And... Move you there. That is the... Second Dwarf Furious, the fourth, because I didn't have that many names, okay? <laughs> it's not that I don't want to use different names, but you guys need to redeem some names. Redemption. Alright, I think we'll move to there. Then he can shoot afterwards. He can get hit as well, though. Oh, a bit dangerous. There's one in there. I haven't forgot about you. But, I mean, he has the high ground, so let's keep it there. You just got split. You got a split. Let's keep him... Uh, let's just keep him there. Let's see if he's gonna come out. Oh, okay. Blown up my shield, are ya? Oh, he's fleeing! 
flee to battle! See if the dwarf can take down this dude. No, he can hit the other dude. Beautiful. It's fine. Actually pretty awesome. Oh! <laughs> Nearly nailed him. Nearly nailed. Like a split decision. <laughs> that was good. Oh man, putting yourself in there really, really bad idea. Yeah, I know, I know, Fenrir. I, you are a good, good viewer. Thank you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I just can't name everyone <laughs> from from uh, one one uh, viewer. So I need to I need to wait a bit with your names. Sorry, buddy. Yes, man. Surrounding tactics against bandits is just incredible. That really helps. Um, thinking, let's just hit this guy to break him a bit apart. That guy to kill him. That guy. Okay. Okay. Shade Warp, the cart destroyer or uh, people destroyer is more like it. Hugo is staying in the shadows because that is where his home is. Smackadoodle. Oh, we can go here. Hit him in the face. And then he can stab. Okay, once. Fine. And the head chopping. Head chopping! I love it. I really love it. So, in, in I checked out today some of the... Um, some of the early... Early graphics actually did have buildings and uh, ruin pieces and stuff like that, but they, they simply didn't have the money to create these assets in the game. But they did want to put that in. I think I think a lot of these indie game creators um, have a, a ton of ideas, but they simply don't have the, the cash for it. Like Rogue Factor, for instance. They didn't have the money to create the game they wanted, so they created what they could. And I really respect that. I really do. And I mean, Mordheim did turn out... Okay. It's it's good. 600 plus hours. Good. <laughs> okay, you... If you're... Oh, he's steady though. He is steady. I'm gonna stabby. He's not fleeing. He is utterly surrounded, gonna get stabbed, but he's not fleeing. I respect that as well. I, oh, now he's fleeing. Bad call. Good call. Maybe. Haha! <laughs> you hurt my funny bone! Stop that. You can hit him in the face, even though he has a helmet. Uh, hello, Begbras. Welcome to the stream, buddy. This is going pretty well. I'm, I'm very confident in this uh, playthrough <laughs> so far. <laughs> very, very happy. So 105 is definitely better. Let's start replacing these ancient ones. The ancient ones. Oh, Hugo leveled up. Beautiful, man. Crippling Strikes. Um, Executioner could be a thing. Dodge could be a thing. Because his, his initiative is insanely high. Would give him some... Survivability. Let's see. Seven. Oh, it doesn't show. Okay. Oh, because it, it varies... Plus five there, plus two, and plus four. Awesome. Overconfidence is a slow, insidious killer, to quote Darkest Dungeon. Indeed, and I know, I know, it's... I mean, it's the sixth time I try, and it's finally going well. I, I need to be a bit positive. Um, card two. Get some health, get some 
fatigue because we don't know the end enemy but if it's undead we're gonna need a lot of fatigue I think as well with orcs but I think maybe that could be manageable I have no idea I haven't faced them Kartu is a colossus wait oh and a steel brow cool okay let's get the shield expert it increases his melee defense and range defense and uh, reduces shield damage so that's pretty cool means his shield will last longer which is pretty good if you're dependent on your shield could always carry two but so I need I need a spear on well, Furious. He actually has pretty decent melee skills as well. If uh, if he wants to change to that, cool. It's pretty awesome. That was basically it. All right, that was a bandit hunt. A hunt of bandits. How quickly the tide turned. I hope not. Oh, what is that? A rotten hut? Uh, some... Yeah. Engage. We are wrecking here. We're just going for the man. <laughs> Look at these guys. They don't even have armor on. Really bad, bad brigands. Bad breath brigands. That's their team name. George! Do, 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 do. Ah. Chop to the face. Or flail to the face. You're a flail, ya. And it shall be reflected in your face. Yeah, right. It actually did hit him in the face. And he's fleeing. Cool. The buddyhood is wrecking in RVR. Beautiful, man. That is so awesome. We are. Uh, we do have a uh, guild in Warhammer Online. If you guys want to join it, if you don't know what it is, go look up Age of Reckoning. I might be playing some on stream later tonight when the first three hours are done, because as you know, I'm gonna play the same game from start to end in the regular hours I promise that and I'm gonna keep it so it's easier for people to know what the heck I'm doing on my channel instead of doing a million different things differently and also makes it easier to progress and show stuff off pop wow these guys we are the buddyhood. <laughs> yeah. We're not that many yet. Maybe maybe later people will join in. I don't know. I mean I I play when I play, I play late. It's always late when I play. Like last night I played from half past Half past one? Half past one, I think. I had to edit some stuff and release some stuff and do some stuff. I have stuff to do. You know? Chop it! Oh, man. Good. Yeah, right now these guys are nothing. These guys are nothing. It's almost, I almost feel sorry for them. That much. Come again, Dwarf Furious. Stab him. Stab him good. Oh, he's fleeing. Okay. Why on earth would you flee? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, he's, he's, uh, yeah, it's over. Pukaw! 
Where do you get more hammer? It is free to play. It's it's the old what, what's it called? It was called um, Age of Reckoning. Now it's called Return of Reckoning. It, it's it's being uh, developed by people for free. They're never gonna cha charge anything. It's an online MMO in the Warhammer world. You can play as a Chosen, a Dark Elf, Wizard, uh, a Blackguard, Orcs. That's on because we're on the destruction side, of course. Yes, indeed. We are destruction. We are destruction. I'm playing a uh, Chosen Knight, of course. Of course. I had a Magus, but... I didn't really like the stand still and do nothing playstyle. Oh! New objective. Sitting and jesting with the men with the jester hat on them, uh, while they check their kit. Hone their blades and mend their armor. Your mind uh, wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the lands. What is your conclusion and what do you tell them? We need to catch the eyes. We fight well, but we need to be better organized in case things get dire. I shall name a sergeant to rally you on the battlefield. Wah! Your stream is going bananas, Begrus? Cool. That's awesome. Mm, I, I don't actually know which race is the most cheesy one. Ask Fenrir. Fenrir knows. Fenrir knows a lot of stuff. Okay. Marketplace? Let's see. 352, that's okay. 24, no, because we boarded here. I think we're gonna invest in some more cloth, actually. Oh, the hook blade. The axes seem a bit better. It does have a higher chance to hit head, that one. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of the hand axe. Keep the rest. Do we have any shields that are hurt? Because then we could just replace them, but no, it seems... It seems like we're in pretty decent shape here, guys. Things are looking really good. Oh, we have salt. You can get salty in this stream without being in trouble. Sell that. Alright, cool. And we do have a mission. Let's take that. As you take stock of your inventory, a rather well-to-do man spots you and heads your way. He announces himself as being in the employee of Aspion the Guildmaster, an influ influential person in Kochendorf that wishes to talk business. You hand your duties over to crush hard run and let the man lead the way. All right, see you later, Begrus. You find Aspion the Guildmaster talking to a group of peasants. We have a slight problem. There's a relic I need finding some such thing by the name of Forefather Standard. Sounds good. 730, give me more. 800. Let's take it. We can do it. All right. Uh, Rogalus, the Adornable, leveled up. Beautiful. That's. I think that's one of Fenrir's. Anticipation when being attacked by ranged weapons, gain pl one plus ten percent of your base ranged defense as additional ranged defense. Per tile that the attacker is away. One, okay. So that could be good. But I'm thinking more, I mean the crossbow is really good. I think we're gonna do fast adaptation. The Mentor Horse! Oh, thank you very much for that follow. Welcome home, buddy. It's beautiful. Good to see you. Let's get uh, let's get fast adaptation on him as well. I think as we progress, I might want to switch the light crossbow out for a bow with him. 
just because we might be able to get a lot more a lot more uh, critical hits in or at least the uh, the uh, injuries so how do I name a sergeant then <laughs> I love it he's dumb <laughs> and a drunkard doesn't matter he's a drunkard and fun Oh, here we go. Get and guess. Indeed. Get and guess, Min Min. Awesome to have some more Danes in here. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh. During camp, while enjoying a slice of bacon. Grab the bacon, boys. Grab it and eat it. You hear the wind of, quar of a quarrel going on. You ignore it for a time, but the shouts get louder. Quickly rising over uh, your ability to enjoy a good meal. Angered, you stand up and head toward the disturbance. You find Dwarf Furious the Fourth and Crunch Hard Run <laughs> facing it off. The cultist and follower of the gods having apparently discovered some differences. Okay. To be honest, I think we're gonna need to let these guys duke it out. I mean, this is a band of warriors. If I stop this, that could create some pretty nasty uh, repercussions. You step off to the side, letting the men hash out their differences, as men with great differences do. Fist for arguments. The follower of the gods makes his case, battering the cultist again and again. But the man with the scarred head only grins in return. His eyes are puffing up, the lids purpled and puckering over his eyesight. Yet still he grins. And there is bloody laughter spewing out of his reddened mouth. Cool. The fight for bacon. <laughs> Such darkness. Davkul is much pleased. With an anxious look, Crunch Hard Run steps off to Furious to the the fourth and backs away. He's rubbing his bloodied knuckles, realizing he may have broken a few in the seemingly one-sided scuffle. But it's the cultist's words that hurt him most of all. Man isn't tempted by the darkness. He is called to it, lost without it, gleeful in its return. Almost afraid to look back, Crunch Hard Run hurries away as the cultists remain behind, laughing, laughing and chuckling on the grass. Nobody daring to get near him. He is a poop. Hey, Dwarf Furious. You hit a man. <laughs> Safety tip. Don't punch people in the head. Crunch Hard Run is content. Uh, he loses one re resolve. Dwarf Furious the fourth suffers fractured ribs. But he gains two resolve. Cool. That was fun. I love those random things in this game uh, that really that's what makes it so interesting and the gameplay the combat is really good as well it, it's more refined than I thought it would be and that's probably why I lost the first couple of times for five okay five times around the circle of the immortals see now I should have put on some Blunts. With a quick draw, you unsheathe your sword and the cut the ancient dead head off. The skull and helmet carrying it clattering, uh, clatter and clank off the ground. Before you can investigate Rogalus, the Adornable grabs you and tells you to run. More undead figures are appearing out of the walls, shaking free of granite, 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 grip of a mausoleum entombment. Once outside, you order the rest of the company to get into formation. So... Um, did he get it? Swings the spear, the false king must die. Yeah. I guess, I guess we got it there. I guess. 
Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe and share it with a friend or two. It really helps out the channel and to that affect me. If you want to stay in touch with me and get notified about new videos, go follow me on Twitter. You can also visit my Twitch channel where I stream every week. If you're feeling generous, consider subscribing on Twitch or supporting me on Patreon. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful game night.